This episode is sponsored by LadyFootLocker.com. You have a lot going on. Work, school, friends, kids, cocktail parties. Go prepared and look good while you're doing it. Head to EverydayDriggers.tv slash lady to save 10% off orders $50 or more at LadyFootLocker.com. Welcome to Sunday Night Shooters. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. Today, we're going to create a drink that's really neat looking. My screen's wrong, but I got a side side shot. You didn't update my... There. This week, we have a layered shooter. This comes from... Um, say the name of Nami it. Slo, Slo, Nami Slowski 88. And that wasn't an N. That is an N. <laughs> so I went to my, my sheets. Uh, this recipe has a half ounce of three ingredients and a dash of another. Who puts a line on their N? I see where you would have got it from, but it was because the paper kept coming up. It doesn't matter. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> Probably not. But. I want to say the name of the show. I mean, the name of the drink. It's called the Jellyfish Shooter. Thank you. This has one half ounce of white curacao, one half ounce of amaretto, one half ounce of milk, dash of grenadine. Now, people are going to ask, can I use blue curacao? No. I guess you could, but it's probably going to ruin the effect. Um, this is what... Jellyfishes do not have blue bodies. No. So this is... It's the effect, though, and it's really sticky. No, jellyfish have clear bodies. They do. But the red is where it all comes into play, isn't it? I haven't really seen a good close-up no, shot. It looks like a jellyfish. It, it does. So we're going to first layer it white curacao first. It's really clear, but, you know, white curacao, half ounce of amaretto, which is actually going to sink under the curacao and push it up. Oh, I didn't even taste the amaretto. No? Mm -mm. And then it's a, kind of a lot of stuff in here. And then a half ounce of milk. on the, So that's going to layer on top. And once that's built, then we're going to build the last super important ingredient, the super secret ingredient, the grenadine. And that's where everything starts to make sense on why it's called a jellyfish shooter. So what I've done right now is I have just my half ounce, and it looks like a lot, but the cup squeezes up. Um, is That's my, my white curacao. So what I'm going to do is layer in my amaretto first, pre-poured for your pleasure. Um, and it should come out pretty cool. Hopefully it's as cool as the one I did before to see if this was going to actually work. I think the longer it sits there, the cooler it gets. Yeah? I'll buy it. All right, so now you've got the gold on the bottom, pushing up the white carousel. And on top, we're going to dump some milk. Whoa. Suckers all over the place. This is the one that reacts kind of weird, too. Yeah, to get the jellyfish tentacles. Oh, is that what it's doing? Yeah. Well, like right now, it's if you, it's really neat. It looks like if you've seen the clouds rushing by and, and whatever they call it, like step cameras when they they do like time lapse photography and you see the clouds moving. That's very similar to what the top of this is doing. It's just like everything's moving around as the milk is reacting to the top of the curacao. Then we're gonna dump in a little bit of grenadine and you're done. Now apparently we sit and wait for it to do awesome things. Like that. Turn it to sometimes a different angle that you look at it. It looks more like jellyfish. It yeah, right there it does. See it? Looks it? like the tentacles. Yeah, the tentacles coming down like a red, white streams. Yeah, but they're like the tentacles of the jellyfish are at least on TV, they're like flat. Yeah. And that's what that looks like. It's really weird. It is. It's like the the milk kinda helps bring in the color along with that the uh grenadine. It's really cool. See how it tastes, though. A little potency there. It's got sweetness. A little alcohol. Must be because the this the curacao coming in because it's very orange. You do get a lot of orange. Yep. You um, get a lot of curacao. So you get that zest, like an orange peel zest. Um, Sweet grenadine flavor. You're right. The the Di Sirono doesn't really play a huge part in. There's a little bit of the flavor of the Di Sirono, but it's it's downplayed by 
you get the creamy milk and it's just the orange really comes through a lot the orange and sweetness but and milk and the milk but it's really neat looking and it has a good flavor so there's not a lot of cocktails to be honest with you that have a really nice presentation the way they're designed and also carry through with a flavor you get some really really nice looking cocktails the flat liner is a neat idea too where you get the we have the Tabasco lie, lying between like a Sambuca and a vodka or whatever it was. And it's really neat to just see that red line there. But you're drinking, you know, Tabasco, Tabasco. with Sambuca and vodka or whatever. I can't remember what the full ingredients are. But there's a lot of drinks like that that have the effect. But to get them to layer correctly, you have to sp use a specific type of alcohol. And sometimes they're not very desirable. Campari, for instance. Um, That's this never plays, desirable. Yeah, desire, the Campari is bad. This plays a good role in all presentations and in flavor. Definitely have to try the jellyfish shooter. If anything, it gives you a chance to layer to the to the point where if you screw up a little bit, like I definitely quick poured that milk a little too quick and it went down deep. But because the jellyfish still plays through, nobody knows that's not the in the actual presentation how it's supposed to be. So you could be a little shaky. So there you go. That is the jellyfish shooter. Thank you. Namely Slowski88 on YouTube. EverydayDriggers.tv. We're teaching you how to drink.